Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel, Lion Tour Adventures. My name is Mr. Lion. So today I'm happy to come to visit the uh, floating village or steel house that we call a compound float village. They're located at the southeast of the same rear is about 25 kilometers to here. If we take a motorbike, it's about uh, 35 minutes and 29 seconds to here. So that when we come here, you can see all the houses along the road. It's amazing how they're made from the woods and covered by the tins. And all the houses that we call the steel house is here. And when you go a little bit more there, you can see the temples and you can see the uh, Tun Lake South Lake is the big lakes in the Southeast Asia. And you can see the floating house as well. Look, look at this to the behind me, you can see the uh, amazing house. And it's a lot of children, they can play their football here. It is a real life of the people that who live in here. It's the most of the population in here, they are living from the fishing at the Tun Lake South Lakes here. During of the rainy season, the water is always rest up to about for a three meter high. You can see the column here, yep. At a, up to the rain trees and the water they can flow back to the Tunle South Lake to the Mekong River and then here it is dry up, it's nothing left, just the empty, no water. Just you can see the steel house that made from the woods is behind me. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to visit the Kingdom of the Cambodia. So today I would like to show all of you guys about the floating village or steel house that located at the southeast of the Siam Reap is Cambodia, it's about the 25 kilometers. If we take a motorbike it's about 35 minutes and 29 seconds to visit this village. Everyone look at to the right hand side is my hand you can see the amazing steel house along the canals around this area that we call the Kampong Plus communes, Kampong Plus village, Bakong district, Siem Reap province, the kingdom of this Cambodia. Around here it consists of the three villages and with the population is more than 3,900 and 911 families live with the three villages in here. And 95% of the population living here, they are believed to the Theravada Buddhism and the 5% they believe to the Muslim and Christians. And also the population here is about the 60 to 70% of the population, they are living from the fishing and another person they are living from the agricultures. Agriculture is the main one is for the, this village as well. So the people in here, they can do for two crop in dry season and rainy seasons because they have the inner water from the Tonle Sap Lake to supply the rice. And look at to the houses along the canals here. It here we call the steel house. All the house that built from the ground to the top is more than 9 meter high away from the flooding during up the rainy season. The rainy season they start from May until to the October. During in that time is the waters below the houses and there's a lot of flooding in here. And along this canal just only people they uh, take a boat. And all the houses in made by the woods or some houses it made by the bamboos is covered by the tins. It is the amazing houses around these areas. If the travelers want to visit this Cambodia for next time, please don't forget to come to visit the amazing houses and you can see the floating jungles here and you can see the Tonle Sap Lake is the big lake in Southeast Asia.
so look at the behind me you can see the amazing of the big lakes in Southeast Asia that is one we call a Ton Lei Saab Lake Ton Lei is mean lake Saab is mean fresh water it's the big lake in Southeast Asia but right now the Ton Lei Saab Lake is staying in the middle of the kingdom of this Cambodia it consists of the five provinces around of the Ton Lei Saab Lakes and the Ton Lei Saab Lake they start from the west to the east is about 160 km long they start from the south to the north is about the 35 km wide during the rainy season they start from May to the October in that time is the waters it rests up all the houses and restaurants they are not staying in the middle of the Ton Lei Saab Lakes they will move their houses and restaurants too close to the steel house but uh, during the dry season they will come back to the middle of the Tunde Saab lakes why they are not stay for the permanent because the rainy season the water is the rest up and it's deep it's about the 12 meter deeps and also the way we here and all the population they are not stay here they always move to the outside so there is the big lake in Southeast Asia that we call the Ton Lei Saab Lake. So I would like to appeal all the travelers when they come to visit the Kingdom of the Cambodia for next time. Please don't forget to contact Land Tour Adventure will be your tour guide and bring you to visit the amazing places in Cambodia. Please have looks script below my channel. Thank you very much.